We want to take some time here to answer questions Let's that you've it. sent into Let's our chat room. Right, uh, Pat, this is from Brent. He says, I found out that my son was abused by a babysitter. I have the legal side covered, but how in the world do I help my child heal from something so tragic? Um, love can heal a child if a child feels warm and forgiven. And if you explain to him that this was a bad thing that happened, yeah. but that God is good and that God loves him, and all he's got is love and nurture and compassion and comfort from you, he'll get over it very quickly. You know, it's, it's only when he's not able to talk about it and, and he doesn't feel that love and warmth. Yeah. But if you give him love, it'll heal. Right. I think you're right about it being an open discussion thing. Oh, too. absolutely. There's absolutely. already shame attached to that. If yeah. you keep it behind the Talk scenes, that yeah. exacerbates the problem. Okay, this is Teresa who wants to know, is the God the Christians and Jews pray to and worship the same God called Allah that the Muslims pray to and worship? No, it's not. Look, the God of the Bible, uh, he's got a name, and the name is the name of the verb to be, and it is in the Hebrew, the Hifil tense, which means he who causes everything to be. We're talking about the creator of all the world. And uh, if you put a couple of letters with it, you can call it Yahweh or another Jehovah. But that's not the same thing as Allah. There's, there's some thought that Allah is tied into the Baal of the Phoenician worship. It's not the same God. He's not the same God. The God of the Bible is the one who's in charge of everything. And Allah, I, I've felt, and one of my scholars here disagrees with me, but that's all right. I, I think, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> freedom, freedom. I think that he is the moon God of Mecca, which was, his name was Hubal. And, uh, you know, they have a crescent moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, I think they had a moon god and so forth. Not the same. No way. Not even close. Okay. Okay, this is Joshua who says, I have epileptic seizures that are very scary. I'd like to be healed from them, but could they be something God has to shape my life with? I don't, I mean, he can use anything to shape your life, but I think that all things being equal, he'd rather have you healed. Amen. And yeah. Jesus healed people of what looked like epilepsy. I mean, he, he could tell the difference between epilepsy and demon possession and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, but he can heal you and wants to heal you. Uh, but, you know, if you praise God in the midst of whatever you've got, it'll be a blessing to you. But don't, you know, okay. Yeah, this is Cynthia who says, My boyfriend's angry at God because he was abused by his father when he was a child. He often asks, Where was God when I needed him and why me? What could I do to help him and lead him to have a closer relationship with God? Get him studying the Bible. Where was God when Jesus was crucified? Jesus was the Son of God. And he said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But he realized the plan of God was greater than his suffering. And the plan of God was to redeem all mankind. So if God permitted his own son to suffer for the sins of mankind, don't question where was God when you got abused. Where is he now? He loves you, and he'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, that's all the time we've got. Thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate you.